Hey guys, welcome to a new season of Home Groups. We are going to be starting a new series called Unshakable. And in today's session, we're going to be talking about the pressure to conform. You see, Christians have faced the pressure to conform for a very long time. We can look back to the days of Lot, to the days of Noah, when everyone around them was doing evil. And Lot and Noah, in their cities, in their places, they were the only ones who were faithful to God. And we can see this sort of pattern throughout the Bible and even post-biblical times. If you come home tonight and talk to your parents, they will tell you how about 20 years ago in the Soviet Union, they were faced with a lot of pressure to conform from the government, from their peers, from their teachers. They were even persecuted and put into prison for their faith. Now I want you guys to ask this question. What about today? In today's world in America where we live, what sort of pressures to conform do you face? Hey guys, I hope that your discussion went well. We are going to dive into the Bible and look at a biblical character who faced a lot of pressure to conform. His name was Daniel. He was a young Jewish boy who was taken into captivity by the Babylonian Empire. You see, the King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, he told his chief officials to look into the Jewish young men and to find men that had no physical defect, that were handsome, and that had an aptitude for learning. To take them and train them for three years in the Babylonian literature, in their language, and so that they may serve the king. He also allotted for them certain food that they were supposed to eat, royal food and royal wine. Now Daniel and his friends, they resolved not to eat the food and not to drink the wine because it was in contradiction with the Jewish food laws and because a lot of this food was given to idols before it was served to the king and his people. The first quality that Daniel displayed was integrity. Daniel never forgot who he was. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, we read, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. You see, Daniel never forgot who he was. Even though they changed his clothing, they changed his name, they changed the surroundings around him, he went from, from Jerusalem to a city where they believed in many gods and he did not allow Babylon to change his heart. You see, a lot of times our integrity is tested when, we're, when our surroundings are changed. When we go to school maybe, when our parents aren't, aren't with us at the time, when we go to a new location where nobody knows that we are Christian, that's when our integrity a lot of times is tested. I want you guys to discuss how and where is your integrity tested in your life? The second quality that we see Daniel display is discipline. Verse 8 speaks about how he made up his mind not to eat the food, not to drink the wine. He controlled his ego and his appetite. Instead of going for the best food in the lands and the finest wines, he decided that he would go with a brown bag lunch of vegetables. He saw the doors of opportunity flung open for him, and he was grateful for that. But he disciplined himself to guard his heart and to guard his faithfulness to God. The third quality that we see is courage. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 says, Show, Stand firm in faith. Be men and women of courage. Daniel was willing to stand alone. When everyone around him was probably mocking him and making fun of him for his choices, he still remained faithful to God. And it takes a huge amount of courage to say no to a king. And at the time, he could have even been beheaded for his firm actions. Exodus 23 verse 2 says, Do not follow the crowd in doing wrong. Do not be swayed by the majority. A lot of times, our testimonies get shut down in school at work because we are swayed by the majority, because we are afraid of what people are going to say about us or to us. I want you guys to share examples where maybe you had to show courage in school at work, where maybe you had to display faithfulness in front of your friends even though you knew that maybe they would mock you or laugh at you. Please take this time to discuss.
The final quality that we see Daniel possess is humility. He was very respectful to the authority around him. You see, Daniel didn't demand, he didn't argue, he wasn't deceptive in his speech, but he was respectful. He was kind to the men that were above him. He came up to them and said, please test us for 10 days. Give us 10 days of vegetables and then compare us to the other boys in the program with us. And they did that and they noticed that Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the other people with them. And you see, after three years, the chief officials, they brought Daniel and his friends before the king. And the king spoke with them. And verse 20 says, In every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them, he found them ten times better than all of the enchanters and the magicians in his kingdom. I want to leave you guys with the memory verse. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 3 says, Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but the Lord tests the heart. You see, Daniel was faithful in the little that he was tested with. And God entrusted him with a lot. I feel that Daniel passed this test with flying colors. He became an influential man throughout the whole land of Babylon. I want you guys to take this time to share some examples of times where you withstood the pressure to conform and you shared in the blessings of Daniel. I also want you guys to maybe pray for those who are facing some sort of pressure at school, at work, amongst their friends, and would like some prayer. Thank you, and God bless you.